Hey everybody, yesterday Topps released a new set for us to take a look at, Topps Holiday Baseball, and it's only available at your local Walmart. This box cost $19.98, so 20 bucks, and there are 100 cards inside, 10 packs, 10 cards per pack, and also the cool part is there's one relic autograph or autograph relic card in every box, which, I mean, you can't beat that because usually blaster boxes don't come with that guarantee. So Topps is being a little generous for Christmas. Heck, if you buy a hobby box for like 70 bucks, you're only guaranteed one relic autograph or autograph relic card. Like if you bought Top Series 1, 2, or Topps Update. So this is what the box looks like. Here's the side. You can see that the cards will have a nice snowflake design just in time for the holidays and also there's a nice that'd be a nice autograph to get uh cunha jr and the other side has those same cards the odds are on the back so if you want to pause it and read through those you can do that now and let's get right to this and does anyone ever do this by the way um do you ever send a like a three by five note card in to try to win something i thought about doing that i don't really know if it'd be worth it or not because it looks like you might have the same basic odds of winning something. Um, so you're not gonna get anything good because, I mean, look at those odds, but you might get like a, a parallel or something like that. I'd be interested to know if you do that. Let me know. I picked up about 14 of these boxes at Walmart. I went to two Walmarts and I cleaned them out. These sold out last year pretty quick, so get your boxes now. I was thinking about possibly doing a case break, case, in quotations, of course, because you can only get these at Walmart. You can't buy them online from a dealer or anything. Uh, also, I put some of them on eBay to try to get some little bit of extra gas money for a trip my brother and I are planning, possibly for next weekend. Maybe hit up a bunch of different stores. But here are the packs. Let's make sure that we got all 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And one of them has an autograph or a relic in it. I'm hoping that it is an autograph, but more than likely it's probably going to be a relic. Um, trying to see which pack feels heavier. Didn't really notice any of them. This one kind of felt maybe a little heavier, maybe a relic in there, but we will see. All right, let's start opening this up. Let's start with this upper right-hand one. You can see they put all of the top players, the most popular players on there. And let's go. Topps Holiday Baseball. Only available at Walmart for a limited time. Get them while you can. There's 200 cards in the set. They basically took uh, the 200 top cards from the set and put them in uh, Holiday Baseball. Look at those snowflakes. It's pretty nice. They have them on the top and the bottom this year. I think last year it was just um, in one of the corners, if my memory serves me right. Victor Robles, rookie card. Still has the rookie card logo on it. And Daniel Murphy, Chris Bryant, and J-Mo, Jamison Tyone. So I really like the way these cards look. Um, let's go to the next pack. No parallels or anything in that one. I wonder if the autograph is going to be good or if it's going to be something weird. We'll see. Jordan Hicks, rookie card. Kenta Maeda. Um, Willie Calhoun rookie card. I see something coming up that looks pretty interesting. Oh, nice. Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. Very, very nice. Love that one. That one was actually featured on the box, except it was autograph. Uh, this is a D. Gordon, and it's upside down, which is weird. And it's because it is a special snowflake parallel. You can see the extra sparkles there. Also, it has a texture to it. You can feel the snowflake on there. Um, I'm not sure if that's numbered or anything. I think that um, it said one out of every two packs or something on the box. I can't really remember because I didn't look too hard at those odds, but that one is pretty nice. Matt Kemp. Josh Donaldson, who's a free agent. And Domingo Santana. We'll have to see what Donaldson ends up getting on the free agent market. Had a really injury-riddled year last year. I think he only played something like 53 games. All right, next pack, pack number three. We start off with Trey Mancini and then Luis Severino and Mike Soroka, rookie card from the Braves. Giancarlo Stanton. By the way, that's the way the back of the card looks. It says Holiday Mega in the upper right-hand corner because I guess that's, that's the Mega Box. 
I didn't see any other packs. I didn't see any um, hanger packs or regular packs. It looks like this is only available in the Mega Box format, which is fine by me. It's a pretty good deal, I think. 20 bucks for 100 cards and a guaranteed auto. That's why I bought so many of them. These maintain their value and stuff too. Like if you look on eBay, there are ones from last year that are still going for like 25 to 30 bucks. Anthony Rizzo, Carlos Santana, David Dahl. Looks like we have another snowflake card. The ones that are upside down are going to be your snowflake cards. And there it is. Rugen and Odor, nice shiny snowflake. Um, sparkles there when you uh, move it back and forth. Really like those. Albert Pujols, and then we have Lorenzo Cain. Now we have a rookie card coming up. Chan Sisko, Aroldis Chapman, and Xander Bogarts. On to the next pack. We'll do this one. We'll just complete that top row. Move those up a little bit. I also picked up a box of Topps Gallery. I'm planning on possibly doing that one for you tomorrow. Topps Gallery has... Two guaranteed autographs. I bought the um, the big, huge box with the guarantee. Oh, is this, what is this? It's Dallas Keuchel. For a second, I thought it was a redemption, but it's a relic. Dallas Keuchel relic. Okay. That's our hit for that box. Dallas Keuchel is a very, very good pitcher. I remember him when he first came up to the Astros and didn't even have that beard. And I do believe he's a free agent, so we'll have to see where he lands. The back of the card says, congratulations, you have just received a relic card from Topps Walmart Holiday Mega Baseball. Very nice. Dallas Keuchel. Like it. That's a good player. Matt Chapman, platinum glove winner from the American League, which means he was the best fielder. Nolan Arenado won it for the National League. Trevor Bauer, I just picked up a bunch of his rookie cards tonight at a card show. Um, I'll have to show you those one of these days. All right, next pack. I'm almost tempted to go and open all of my holiday baseball boxes that I bought. J.D. Davis, Jack Flaherty, Corey Seager, Rugen and Odor, regular card, Salvador Perez, Snowflake, parallel, like that a lot, but it's not numbered, but still pretty cool. Wilson Contreras. Uh, Dubal Herrera, Craig Kimbrell, also a free agent. We'll have to see where he ends up. Possibly back with the Braves, maybe. Chris Davis, Mr. 247 batting average every single year. And Robbie Ray. All right, we have four packs left. And we have, to lead us off, Salvador Perez. Blake Snell, the Cy Young Award winner in the American League. Tyler Malia pulled two of his autograph and relics yesterday in um, triple threads. This card always confuses me. I always think that maybe there's some paper loss because it's it's actually raining in this card. And I had to look really closely at it. When I first pulled this card a couple months ago, I was like, wait a second, is this card messed up? It's raining in that card. Pretty cool. Uh, Michael Fulmer, Cespedes, Ian Kinsler, Byron Buxton, Billy Hamilton making a great catch there, and Manny Margot. Three packs left to go. All right, here we go. My brother and I went out to a couple antique stores today. Didn't have much luck, though. I kind of feel stupid telling you this, but we only spent 30 cents between the two of us. In two of the, we went to two stores, 30 cents. The plan was to go a bit farther. We were kind of looking at going farther out of town, but oh, nice. Jose Altuve snowflake. I just didn't feel like driving a bunch of hours, so maybe during Thanksgiving break we'll make a little trip. Jose Altuve snowflake card. Love that one. Altuve is on a Hall of Fame track. One of the best players in the game. He's featured on the front of the box. Brian Anderson. J. Hap. Always annoys me when people say J. A. Hap, especially if they're like announcers or people on MLB Network. Like, come on, that's your job to know how to pronounce the names. Clayton Kershaw and no more Mazzara. Dallas Keuchel, our second Dallas Keuchel. First one was a relic. I wonder what the um, ratio is relics to autographs. I have a feeling that it's probably a lot more relics 
than autographs. Like if I opened say 20 boxes, I bet you I would get 15 relics and five autos. And I just kind of have that kind of feeling. Maybe I'll open a bunch of these for a case break and we will find out for sure. Kyle Schwarber, Starling Marte, Jose Ramirez, who was a finalist for the American League MVP this year. Might have won it if he didn't completely fade in August and September. Tyler O'Neill, Nolan Arenado, there he is, the platinum glove winner in the National League. Kyle Seeger, Edwin Encarnacion, who's on the trading block. The Indians are putting a couple of their veterans on the trading block. They're just going to listen, see if they get any big offers. And Buster Posey. Buster Posey also possibly a future Hall of Famer. He might need another seven years of solid play. But he might get there. Buster Posey is a very good player. The rookie card was in 2010. All right, here's our last pack. I see a Goldschmidt on the back. Final pack of Topps Holiday. Starting off with a Castellanos and a Marcel Ozuna. Alex Bregman, who has his own YouTube channel. Maybe one day Bregman and I can collab doing something. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Miles Michaelis rookie card, also known as the Lizard King because he actually ate a live lizard. And this is a Blake Snell. So they're pretty good off with that one out of two packs. We've been pulling one of these snowflakes, approximately one out of two packs. And pretty good cards too. Blake Snell, Jose Altuve, um, Salvador Perez, those are all all-stars. Uh, Chris Taylor, Joey Gallo. Eric Thames and Bryce Harper, very, very nice. Really like that card, Bryce Harper. I'll have to see where he ends up, and Paul Goldschmidt. So this release was really nice. You get uh, the top cards from the top set. It's basically the same exact cards from the top's regular release, just with snowflakes on them, which is pretty cool for the season and everything. Uh, they also eliminate some of the um, lesser players that you probably don't want. So you're only left with the stars and semi-stars. And also you get a guaranteed hit in each box. So it's definitely worth it. That was my hit, Dallas Keuchel. Very, very nice. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure if you get an opportunity and you like this product to go out to your local Walmart and buy a box or two before they're all gone because last year they did go pretty quick once people found out. It's a pretty good deal. You get an automatic hit for 20 bucks. You can't really beat that. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, tomorrow I will bring you Topps Gallery with two guaranteed autographs. So we didn't get an autograph in this box, but we are guaranteed to get two tomorrow. Really looking forward to doing Topps Gallery. Thank you again for watching, everybody, and I will see you later. Hey, everybody. The giveaway for November is pretty good. We're going to have two winners instead of just one. All you have to do to enter is comment in my videos. Every comment is an entry. Just make sure the comments are of substance and not just saying the same thing over and over again or just numbers or whatever. So here's the prizes you can win. An unopened box of 2018 Topps Update Hobby Edition with an autograph in it. A 2015 Donruss Hobby Edition box unopened with three hits in it autographs or relics uh, an unopened box of 2016 don russ with a guaranteed autograph or memorabilia card in there a 2011 rookie card of jose altuve that usually goes for 20 to 30 bucks on ebay that's for my personal collection and a jacob de grom jersey if you'd like that it still has tags on it and it's a 125 dollar jersey again all you have to do is comment on all my videos throughout the month thank you for watching everybody and i will see you later